Good morning. Hey, Shelby Township, Michigan. Uh, numbers are still looking great. Uh, the question I keep getting asked uh, on a regular basis is, are we still in the seller's market? So we're going to be looking at that today. Right now, we're bringing you um, our monthly market update. This is April 2022, and we're going to look at Shelby Township, Michigan specifically. How's everyone doing? My name is Joe Militello, and I'm a real estate agent with TXP Realty, and I've been in this industry for 30 years, and I have watched Shelby Township grow immensely. You know, it always takes me down memory lane when I uh, do uh, um, talk about market updates and whatnot for Shelby Township because my first real estate office that I worked at was on Van Dyke, uh, right around 21 Mile, and I can remember driving to the office going down Hall Road when it was two lanes. So how many of you remember Paul Road when it was two lanes? Nothing but farmland on both sides. And <clears throat> excuse me, and I just remember watching the explosive growth uh, over the past 30 years, because that's how long I've been doing this now. And uh, the developments, all the commercial and just the new subdivisions. God, we sold more new construction than anywhere uh, in Shelby Township, of course. So without further ado, we're going to get into the market report and uh, we're going to get those questions answered for you, okay? April 2022 market report, Shelby Township, Michigan. And I want to read you this very quick, short paragraph from the real estate commentary that we received from uh, the Board of Real Estate. And it's going to help shed a little perspective on our market, okay? And it says, the average 30-year fixed rate mortgage exceeded the highest levels since 2011. According to Freddie Mac, the recent surge in mortgage rates has reduced the pool of eligible buyers and has caused mortgage applications to decline with a significant impact on refinance applications. Well, that was to be expected. Uh, we knew that was going to happen. You know, they've been pushing refinances for the last couple of years at 2.9, 3%, even 3 and a quarter percent, uh, convincing people to, you know, reduce their mortgage rates, get a lesser of a payment on a monthly basis, which is not always the best way to go. Um, there's better ways to pay your mortgage off faster than doing a refinance, okay? But that's another whole video. We can get into that another time. So as of the rising cost of home ownership forced many Americans to adjust their budgets, an increasing number of buyers are hoping to help offset the cost of moving from bigger, more expensive cities to smaller areas that offer a more affordable cost of living. And I can attest to that. Um, I just closed on a property for some clients uh, about three weeks ago or so, and we relocated them from Oakland County. Uh, they were in Royal Oak. We sold their house there, uh, brought them over here to Shelby Township, and basically for the same money, uh, as far as values go on the homes, um, they were able to, uh, they came from a three-bedroom, two-bath house um, to a four-bedroom, three-bath house with a den for about the same price. You know, Oakland County, of course, is higher cost of living. The real estate's a little more expensive, and the property taxes are as well, which, of course, increases a monthly payment on a mortgage. Uh, <clears throat> so there is definitely more affordable cost of living. I always said Macomb County had a bigger bang for the buck. Uh, but that's just is what it is, and uh, we've moved a lot of people ever since then. So let's get into some of the stats, okay? And, uh, and we're going to try to put the stats right up here, too, so you guys can follow along. Um, and uh, hopefully it's clear and you guys can see it, but I wanted to first start with Macomb County. And actually, I'm going to back that up just a little bit because here's some more interesting information. Um, <clears throat> it says, uh, nationally, existing home sales are down 2.7%. Well, I think that's because of the lack of inventory that we got going out there. But um, here's a, an interesting stat, and I also get questioned on quite a bit because people don't really know how to interpret it, is inventory remains low with only a two-month supply of homes at present. Okay, that's of, as of April 2022. So in a, a, our supply of homes is this. If we were to stop putting homes on the market today and we sold all the inventory of real estate, basically everything would be gone in about two months. So to give perspective on that, um, on a good stable market that we've seen over the years, not in a strong seller's market or strong buyer's market, either or just a good stable market, um, it's about a six month supply of homes. So that right there is going to give you a good understanding of why we have a shortage uh, of inventory. But a lot of that, of course, I watched that very, very closely, has to do with, um, you know, of course, we came out of that ugly pandemic, and then, uh, you know, uh, the cost of materials were, were skyrocketing, and, and just a lack of materials. We were chasing that down for a long time. So, again, let's go to Macomb County. Macomb County, and this is year over year. So this is April of 2021 to April of 2022. Uh, total sales since uh, the last 12 months 
has decreased 6.2 percent. Okay, so we have less homes that have sold up until April of this year. Uh, more interesting numbers are the medium sales prices, okay, because we know we have increases, right? And the last year, it's increased 11.4% overall in Macomb County. It went from 211,000 to 235,000, and that's overall. And I tell you that so you can compare it to Shelby Township. It's going to give you a little better perspective, okay? And also the days on mar a market reduced itself uh, by 14.3%. That's quite a bit. Um, and again, so that means homes are selling quicker. And a lot of times we're seeing multiple offers, which is fairly regular. Uh, but I've got some really interesting stats for you guys today. I think you're going to uh, like this because um, I never really see anybody hit um, on the very specific numbers, okay? Um, as an example, now we talked about the medium home price in uh, Macomb County overall is two thirty five dollars in Shelby Township. 330000 that's a current medium price, medium sold price uh, in Shelby Township. And that is almost $100,000 more than uh, the entire county. So that's about $95,000 more. But again, you know, Shelby Township offers a little more. You're going to get some larger homes, newer construction, uh, and you're going to fall into a higher price back bracket. Uh, and of course, the, you know, great school systems and whatnot. But here's some interesting stats that I think you should really pay attention to because um, if you are considering maybe uh, putting your home on the market or selling here within um, recently uh, or, or in the very, very near future, um, these numbers are going to help, again, shed some more perspective for you. Um, and I went and I looked up the number of bedrooms and what the individual medium sold prices were for that. So a three-bedroom home in Shelby Township, as of last year, was selling for uh, at a medium uh, $274,000. And this year, since then, uh, a year back, it's gone up 10.8%. It's currently at $303,000 uh, as the medium sold price for three-bedroom home. Four-bedroom and five-bedroom homes, this is where it really jumps. There's such a demand for four- and five-bedroom homes because families, uh, they want that space, right? Uh, and it has increased almost 20%, 19.8% in the last 12 months. Went from 394000 to 473000 four and five bedroom homes. So a majority of your larger square footed homes with four to five bedrooms are selling 500 and above, okay? Uh, and I'm sure if you've been paying attention to the marketplace, you've already seen that. So that's a very interesting stat. If you are thinking about uh, selling and you do have a four or five bedroom, that might help out quite a bit. Okay. One more little stat I want to share with you before we wrap this up. <clears throat> it's the number of homes that have sold last month. Um, here's, a, here's a good uh, perspective to put. Almost 65% of the homes that sold, sold over asking price. So um, roughly a little over 50 plus homes that actually sold, 37 of them sold over asking. So I know when I sell, we're averaging about 118% of above market value uh, for the homes right now. So yes, we are still in a seller's market, okay? Um, and Shelby, again, is holding strong. It's always been a very strong area. And uh, so if you are selling, you're, you're going to end up getting a little more money um, right now. So I hope these stats help you guys out. And uh, again, stay tuned. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Uh, like and subscribe, please. And, uh, and follow the page because we update every single month. And I bring you some great stats. Um, also, uh, to be included is if you're looking for um, home improvement or just, you know, decorating, anything, staging, we got all kinds of tips in my magazine. I have a monthly magazine, a, a publication that goes out. It's absolutely free. Um, we have a digital copy and we also have a paperback copy that can be mailed right to your home. Um, so the link is down in the comments, of course. And all you got to do is follow the link, register, and let us know where you want it to be sent. Um, and again, we do have a digital copy, so you can just look at it right on the computer as well. Also, if you want copies of any of these statistics, uh, just go down again in the comment section in the link and uh, reach out to us, and we'll email all this right over to you. You don't even have uh, to download anything. We can just email it right to you, okay? Just shoot us a quick message. So I hope this helps you guys a lot. Uh, again, stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next month.